Summertime in all its glory. Welcome to it as we are still in two thirds point of May. Got a few clouds out there with your St. Joseph Health weather bug camera. This one from the 21C Museum Hotel. Some puffy cumulus which are going away. Well, serious clouds will last a little longer as we go through the night. There's a little bit of haze out there as well. Over the next few days, we are just going to blow by June. We had April that seemed to last forever. And then we had five days of May and we had a couple of days of June. By the weekend time, the weekend is now we're going to say hello to July. So again, we're not going to have much of a transition here in the eighth day. It's also starting to look really dry and we'll give you a little hint as to maybe a little concern. But the big question, is this the summer pattern? A hot and dry one for us. Really too early to answer that question, but again, we'll take a look at the overall pattern, which looks like this. Gigantic Ridge has just come in to dominate now the eastern half of the country. Where we are, we are well above normal in our temperatures, not only us, but a good chunk of the nation east of the Mississippi. You look out west, there's the cold. Everything stays in balance, and so we are on the hot side of the equation now and the dry side. With that big ridge in place, you see uh, how much of the, of the southeast really isn't going to see much rain at all. Where is it all going? It's all headed into Louisiana and Texas, where they've been deluged over the last few days. They've got plenty more coming, and that with the cold temperatures out to the west, they're also going to be seeing the wetness as well. So why is there just a hint of concern beginning to sneak in with the dry forecast we've got coming up over the last 30 days? Eastern southeastern Kentucky have started to get pretty dry. We're looking at three quarters of the normal amount of rain around Somerset, London down to Williamsburg, same out in Pikeville, two thirds the amount of rain over around Moorhead now from about 127 and west. We're at least close to normal. But that can change quickly at this time of the year. As we start cranking the heat, you get a lot of evaporation out of the soil and it dries out fast. And so that's how we can start seeing dry become drought and then drought beget drought as we look ahead. Winchester Owensville at 82. It's 84 in Frankfurt, 81 in Liberty. Richmond's at 82. Hazard's 84. Right now in Lexington, we sit 80 degrees even. Tomorrow gets hotter. We're talking mid 80s showing up 84 in Winchester, 84 in Danville and Harrodsburg tomorrow. As we look over into the east, you've got the 85 out of Mount Sterling and Owingsville, 87 in Campton to the southeast, 88 in Beattyville, 88 in Hazard, 85 in Harlan tomorrow afternoon and in the lakes. By the way, Lake Cumberland will be a really good place to be this weekend. Uh, you're talking 86 Somerset, 84 Jamestown, 86 Monticello as we look around the Lake Cumberland sites. That's what the temperatures look like as we look ahead. Middle and upper 80s well into next week. So here is what's going on. And this is just cool to look at. Remember with high pressure in our part of the world, high pressure has a clockwise spin. So you've got the high at the surface, you've got the high aloft, and you can see the clockwise spin. I mean, how neat is that to watch? At the center of the merry-go-round is us. And at the center of the merry-go-round, there isn't much going on. So the bottom line is we are going to see the hot, dry weather continue. For tonight, it's a fair sky. It's kind of hazy. It's a mild night. Overnight lows will be in the low 60s tomorrow. Mostly sunny, a little hotter. We'll be in the mid 80s tomorrow afternoon. Here's what your eight day looks like. Mid 80s Saturday, upper 80s on Sunday. Pushing 90 early next week and the next rain chance really is around Wednesday. 